So the main thing you have to be doing if you're trying to get faster on the guitar is pushing your hands out of their comfort zone. Like the old phrase goes, if you sound good when you're practicing, then you're not really practicing. It's kind of the same thing here. If I'm playing, you know, a 16th note exercise, let's say, And I can play it comfortably, I'm in time, it's clean, it feels good. That's definitely not my max speed, just because, again, I'm not really pushing myself. So I can keep going faster. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna go in larger increments than I would suggest when practicing. <laughs> Again, it's okay, it's still you know comfortable. It obviously feels a little bit faster, clearly, but just it's still okay, meaning I can go faster. So this is still okay. That's still okay, like that's still, that's where most people would kind of stop, is that they're feeling like it's getting a little quick, but that was still pretty clean, that was still pretty in time, and it was still good, meaning you have to go much faster than that. I'm just gonna jump to it, so I'm, I'm gonna go insanely fast here, but, <laughs> and, and just kind of show you like where, the level of stress you wanna push yourself to. So those are eights, and I'm trying to do sixteenths here. Oh my God. <laughs> See? See, now I'm running into technical things where maybe descending is a lot quicker at that pace than ascending. As I practice it, you can see how, how stressful this is. Like this is, my whole body is tensing up. Again, this is actually what you wanna do. Uh, <laughs> you may be watching like, I'm not really sure I, would, I do wanna do that, but this is what's gonna force your hands to like really get out of a comfort zone. So you can hear like as I was playing there, that's not as clean or as pristine or as you know perfect as it was at other tempos, but that's really what's gonna push my speed to a whole new level. And then obviously I practice that a little bit each day and it gets a little more comfortable, a little more relaxed, a little more in time, a little cleaner, all that kind of stuff. The accuracy is kind of something separate to practice from speed, surprisingly. You kind of combine them afterwards, but at first it's really just physically forcing your hands to go much faster than you've done before. And the final thing I'll say, the best approach, obviously, when working on speed and accuracy is actually the back and forth between these two things. So I would, yes, push yourself past that comfort zone. This is the thing I rarely see people actually doing so make sure to do this but then bring it down a little bit and slow it down and try to get it better try to get it more accurate and then do that back and forth but I think practicing it slowly and just having those small increments over time it will feel like you'll never get there and it takes such a long process to really get there you will get there much much quicker if you are doing the back and forth with pushing yourself you know far out of a comfort zone again going to my analogy earlier of a bench press you know when you're trying to lift more weight than you've ever lifted your arms are going to be shaking your body's going to be tense and it's not going to be you know perfect or balanced or at a good tempo at all but you're forcing your body to try to get used to the idea that we're trying to do this and this is a expected of you to be able to execute this the more you try it the sooner you're going to be able to do it. 